الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على المبعوث رحمة للعالمين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين الله سبحانه وتعالى in the ayah of Ramadan talks about dua the, the most famous ayah about dua when Allah سبحانه وتعالى says وإذا سألك عبادي عني when my servant, when my slave, when the Muslim, when the people ask you He's talking to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. People come all the time and ask him about Allah. How do we ask this? How do we ask that? Every time they ask the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam about an issue, Allah will tell the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, tell them this, explain to them this. Yeah? They ask about the month, how to do the hajj. They ask about the, you know, the inheritance. They ask about alcohol. They ask about marriage. All these questions Allah says, tell them. And only one time when Allah says, if they ask you about me, Allah doesn't say tell them. He straight away answer us. He straight away says, فَإِنِّي قريب. I am nearest to you. I am nearest than anything else or anybody else. There's no friends who stay with you forever. No family members. No sons or daughters or mothers or fathers or wife or husband. Nothing. Wallahi, we know it. There's nothing. Nobody, no matter how much, how big the most famous love story is, they don't stay in the grave with them. They don't stay. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is our best friend. He is the nearest to us. One of the most famous scholars of all time, Abdullah ibn Mubarak said, in the day of judgment, if I have the options, <clears throat> if I have the options, who to judge me, mom or Allah, I choose Allah. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is more caring and more loving than anything else and anybody else. So Ramadan is the month of dua. It's the month that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam encouraged all the sahaba to make dua. And it's full of times that is absolutely precious time for dua. The whole day hours when you're fasting, it's a time for you to make dua. And dua in your own words, in your own language. It has to be from the heart. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants your heart to focus on this. The Prophet sallallahu said, the essence of ibadah, the essence of being Muslim, the core is dua. Ad-dua mukhul ibadah. The dua is the essence. This is what make ibadah is. is to talk to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, says to Allah, to break down. Says, Ya Allah, I need your help. Ya Allah, I make all these mistakes. And all the hadith about Ramadan is about forgiveness, you know? Whoever fasts Ramadan, Iman and Wahtasaban, with sincere faith, seeking the reward from Allah, what is the reward? Ghufir Allahu. All your mistakes will be covered up. Ghufir Allahu means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not show it to anybody else. Ghufir Allahu means it will not be seen in your records. It will not be seen in your books. Yeah. Same with praying taraweeh with the Imam. Same with praying Laylat al Qadr. All this, the reward is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you more than you know, more, more than you can imagine. He will cover all the mistakes. Not only that, in the Quran it says, if you fix your behaviors, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will change the mistakes, the bad deed, into a good deed. That is only happened with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It only happened with Allah. You cannot borrow a million dollars from somebody and he will give you another million. <laughs> payment no it doesn't work this way uh, that's how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying you make the mistakes and your shortcoming and all these problems and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the day of judgment the Prophet is saying a real story somebody will go and find good good rewards there is reward there is all these prizes and he says what is this for I didn't do any good deeds in these places in this time it will say, this is your mistakes. This is your false prizes. This is the mistakes you made. You're getting prized for it because your heart, when you repented, when you turned to Allah, was gold, was perfect. Then the man who says, but there is more mistake I cannot see around here now. <laughs> he started to say, there's other big mistakes I've made in my life. I need to, to show it now. That's how, how beautiful Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is dealing with. And this is Ramadan. So there is plenty of time in Ramadan. Every sajda, the Prophet وسلم, when somebody asked him, I want to be with you in Jannah. I don't want just to go anywhere in Jannah. Do we? 
they want to go some place in Jannah where we don't see the Prophet وسلم, or don't see Abu Bakr and all these names or don't see the Sahaba or don't see you know the Prophets before Ibrahim والسلام, Ismail, Yusuf don't we need to see how did Yusuf manage this? How did Yusuf, young men, beautiful men, handsome men, strangers traveling somewhere 5,000 years ago? Away with the queen, with the most beautiful woman, most powerful woman, and he says, I fear Allah. How did some young men manage this? You know, we need to hear it from him, that you have to be in a level in Jannah. So the Sahabi is asking Rabi'ah, asking the Prophet I want to be with you in Jannah. Jannah will not be the same if I'm, if, if I'm not with you. The Prophet is saying, to what? Sujood. You know, you make lots of sujood, you make lots of prayers, lots of rak'ah, because every sajda will raise your rank in Jannah. Every sajda, and alhamdulillah in Ramadan, so many sajda, so every sajda, make it count. How do you make it count? By talking to Allah in the sajda. Ya Allah, I want to be with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa in Jannah. Make it a dua. Allah is the most generous. Allah never, ever, never, no matter who is making dua, even the kafir, when they make dua, Allah never return them empty-handed. Even those, the enemy of Allah, when they raise their hand, when they make dua, when they ask, Allah never let any human being go back empty-handed. So Ramadan is, <coughs> is the chance, inshallah, to make dua for each other, to make dua for the family, make dua for our parents. Wallahi. Don't be selfish with dua for your parents. Those who are the reason for our existence. It doesn't mean because they're old or left this life even that we, they don't have rights on us. They have rights till the day we leave this world. So make dua for them, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept them. Make dua for your children. Make dua for your family. Make dua for the community. Make dua for the world, wallahi. Make dua for the world. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he make dua for, for everything that existed. Yeah? Even the animals and the trees and the oceans and the angels and every, everything exists need our dua and we need make dua for them. The Prophet sallallahu said, if you make dua, he says, Rabbi ghfir li wa li walidayya wa lil mu'mineen. He says, oh Allah, forgive me. Forgive my parents. Forgive the believers. You're going to get good deed for every single believer that exists. Billions of them with one minute dua. So inshallah, this Ramadan, make an effort, make a conscious decision to make dua all the time, especially in sujood, especially in iftar time, especially during the day when you're fasting. Yeah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answer all our dua. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all of us and our family. May Allah bless all of us and our family. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all of us and our family. We ask Allah to accept our fasting, to accept our salah, to accept our tilawah of the Quran. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us and help our brothers and sisters wherever they are. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make this Ramadan the best Ramadan for all of us and our family. Wa akhir da'wan alhamdulillah rabbil alameen wa sallallahu ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa jazakumullah khayyar.